Sports mode. I need friends who I can book these hotels with and we have a a girl sleepover. I've never had that before. Hey guys, it's been a little minute and I apologize, but I can't say, I already had like this whole video planned out. I had went to the beach and I filmed at the beach way before like all that stuff y'all just saw. And I had an idea of how I wanted this video to go. It was gonna be another like days in my life kind of video. Obviously that didn't work out. I moved to Atlanta, Georgia with my sister. We were staying with a family friend and <laughs> That didn't work out because um, basically we had to follow this lady's rules. Which makes sense because it was her house, but clearly me and my sister are not rule followers. So we got an Airbnb. I'm definitely going to give you guys a tour. I feel like that was just such a short update. There's been so much going on. I don't know how to cram it all into one video. Oh, I'm single too, by the way. <laughs> I was already single and then I kind of got back with Ariana and then we broke up and we got back there and we broke up and we realized that we need to stop playing around. Well, I need I realized I need to stop playing around and I need to be single for a little bit while I figure myself out because I have a lot of things I want to do and I need to get them done. I am a full-time content creator now so that's really cool. I need to be 10 toes down. I know that this is something that I really want to do and I've already been doing it. I just haven't fully been like jumping in the pool with it. And I feel like right now is that time to do that. I also am wanting to start a small business. So I'm claiming to have a small business just so I can, you know, have that. And Atlanta is the perfect place to like get that started and um, do like pop-up shops and stuff. And I got people I want to see here. Got some friends that I met last year that I want to link up with again. Um, all kinds of stuff, man. It's exciting, but it's also like, it's almost like it's not really happening. <laughs> My sister and I only have this Airbnb until October. I say a lot of things or I say I'm going to do a lot of things and then sometimes it doesn't happen and then I feel like a fraud, but I need to stop feeling that way. But I also do want to stop like saying like, outrighteous things because sometimes it may not happen which is okay but yeah there's a lot going on did I mention that we're in an Airbnb yeah I did I did I'm gonna give you guys a tour it's a little gloomy y'all because it's raining outside but here's the living room I freaking love this table this is the most beautiful table I've ever seen like I love it um here's the couch and that thing and kitchen i guess i could turn on the light huh <laughs> oh here's the kitchen and then the bathroom really nice my sister's room and then my room i really like it super cozy um what was i about to say oh i like the area it's in a good spot it's not in the ghetto but it's also not like in the riches either clearly um obviously huh? perfect little spot um 
I think for the price, it's all right. Living in Atlanta is expensive, period. That's why we don't have a place. Like we came here with the plan of getting a place after staying at the family friends for a little bit. But um, your credit has to be like sharp here. My sister only needs like a few more points, but it's still like, you know, you gotta have it or you're not getting a place. They don't care how much money you got. They don't care who you know, none of that. You better have a credit. And then we decided we're just gonna have an Airbnb until it's time to go. I need to build my credit now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm not gonna rush myself with certain things and I'm gonna like strategically plan out how I'm gonna go about all this adulting stuff since I'm new to it anyway. And just enjoy myself while I'm here. Like, I'm here to enjoy myself. I hope I can find more events here because um, I have a lot of stuff I want to give away. I'm trying to become one of those people that like don't have a lot of things because, um, because yeah. Fit check? Yeah. Um, but up here, all of this, except for the bag, everything in the bag is just a bunch of clothes and stuff. All of this and some crowns or colored pencils and um, stuff, like all this stuff, I'm giving away or might sell it, but I'm giving it away. Um, so if you're in Georgia and you want some cute clothes, let me know. Um, I'll sell it to you for like two bucks an item or like five bucks an item, you know? Um, cause I need to get rid of it. Hey y'all, it is now later in the night. I'm about to do my journaling cause if y'all didn't know, I do journal on the last of the month and the first of every month. Um, on the last of every month, um, I reflect on how the month went, month went and <laughs> on the for the oh my god why can't i talk i do reflections and i do intentions for the new month but i'm here just so i can um express some gratitude a little heart to heart um i feel like i've been stuck today if you couldn't tell like i've been like kind of like pausing and not fully being able to like i guess acknowledge what's going on my life is shifting and i just want to say thank you to anybody that's watching this video um, to anybody who's been watching my videos since like I was in high school, I don't want to get emotional. I just feel really blessed. Like I can, I can see that change is coming and it's, it's in the best way. And I can't like, I, sometimes I can't believe that I'm like living the life that I live, even though I don't have much going on. I'm really happy, like in all aspects of my life. I don't know. I just had a lot of time to think. It also feels bittersweet too, because um, Florida was such a big, um, um like it florida definitely needed to happen like the whole year was um such a milestone for me like i did a lot of growing and that was the first time i was ever fully like completely 100 percent by myself and um i was so angry when i moved to florida and i was so sad and um i was dissociating all the time i, I hadn't realized that everything i was doing was um for like now and it wasn't for like what I thought it used to be because I was mad at my mom and all this stuff and it's just really crazy even thinking about that situation with my mom because like we're we're so good now and it makes me so happy and like I don't know it's just it's crazy how much can change in a year and like what I'm planning to do in the year following and just in general it's a good overwhelming i don't even know what the next steps are i just i just walk forward and hope that i take the right step because i have so much confidence in myself and so much like knowing and trust in god and myself and everything because it's all the same it's just it's it's all gonna work out for me and it feels nice because i used to not think that way like i kind of always thought this way i can just get really low ramona from yesterday all the things that she did for me today it's just it's a blessing when you go down to like my old videos like i used to make like i don't know how to explain it like, i can see myself like kind of returning 
to self if that makes sense i've always been myself obviously but it's kind of like coming full circle with my attitude and stuff and like what i want to create and like give out anyway i'm gonna journal and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video